Hey everybody! So today I'm going to be playing around with the Too Faced Le Grand Palais palette. Ooh, isn't it pretty? There are so many fun colors in this, but I'm going to go with a more neutral look and I'll do a more fun color tutorial later. So starting with the Shadow Insurance Primer that also came in the palette, I'm just placing this all over my eyelids from the bottom right up to my eyebrow just to act as kind of a canvas for the rest of the eyeshadows. Next I'm taking this matte brown color. It's one of the only matte colors in the entire palette, which is a little bit disappointing, and it's a little bit too dark for my liking, so I'm taking a very light hand with a large fluffy brush, and I'm just placing it in my crease using small circular motions and trying to blend it out right from the inside to the outside of my eye, and I'm blending it out as I go. Then I'm taking the shade next to it. This is more of an orangey brown with some gold shimmer in it, and I'm taking a smaller little fluffy brush, a little bit of a point on it, and I'm placing that directly in my crease and below where I put the first matte brown color so I'm not trying to go up too high I'm just trying to add that color it brings a lot of warmth to the eyes so just again placing it from the inside right to the outside of my eye and blowing on my brush to clean it I'm just going to buff out those edges trying to make everything blend and make it look like there aren't any harsh lines Next I decided to use this Sephora eyeshadow cream pencil. I'm putting this all over the base of my lid. It's going to help the color that we're going to place on top look more pigmented and stick better because I found a lot of these shimmery shadows in this palette have a lot of fallout. So I'm just hoping that that will help with this. So I'm just blending it right onto the eyelid. Then I'm taking this shade right here. It's kind of a champagne but more cooler tone. I'm just going to use my finger and press it into where I put down that cream base. Again, trying to prevent any fallout and I feel like this makes it look extra sparkly and more pigmented. I'm also just using my finger here to kind of blend it into that color above. I will use a brush a little bit later, but I can do what I can with my finger at this point. Next I'm going to highlight my eyebrows. I'm taking this stark white shade and I'm mixing it with this yellow shade. They're both matte, but I felt like the white was too white. So I mix them together and I'm just placing it right up under my brow, right from the inside and then right to the end of my brow as well. And then reaching for the shade in the middle, this one is more like a pinky highlight. Um, it's definitely very brightening, very shimmery, and placing it on the inside corner of my eyes. And back to that matte brown shade, I'm going to be using that same pointier brush and I'm dragging it underneath my eye. So right from the outside, I don't go right to the inside, but definitely right to the outside, kind of connecting to what we had in the crease. Then I'm trying out for the first time the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I've wanted to try this out forever. I'm doing a really simple cat eye, and to be honest, I wasn't really impressed with this. I've heard great things about it. Um, it did apply pretty nicely, but the it color was just not very pigmented, especially compared to my Sigma. I just felt like I had to keep going over the line to make it show up. But I did like the pen or the felt tip itself. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then I'm going to use the Better Than Sex Mascara. This also came in the palette and I have to say I don't get wowed by mascaras like this very often and I really like the brush, I like the formula, I like everything about this mascara and how it makes my lashes work. So, And it seems to be getting better over time. So I would highly recommend this one if you want a higher end mascara. And finally, I'm using this new Buxom. It's kind of like a lip crayon. I'll leave the color down below because I don't have it beside me right now. It's very fall appropriate. It's definitely like a brick red, a brownie type red. And you know what? This stuff feels amazing. It's kind of like, not tingly, but very cooling on the lips and very minty. Um, it's matte, it, it glides on really, really easily and it stays a long time. And lastly, I decided to check out the highlight in this palette. It's kind of a, a golden champagne highlight, so I'm placing some on a fan brush and putting it up on my cheekbones, um, and I think it looks really pretty. It's definitely not as intense as some of the other highlighters I have, but it's a very nice glow. And here's the completed look. So it's like a warm brown champagne eye with a very fall appropriate lip. I think it looks really pretty. Everything from the Grand Palais palette, and I hope you guys enjoy. So thanks for watching. Bye!